Uh, one of my favorites, the lovely Ned Bell, is our Saturday chef today from Good Inset morning. Farms. Thanks for being here. Thank you very well. Thank you for having me, as always. Are you kidding? Look at the set deck you've done. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. It's a special day tomorrow. It's the Oscars. I got yeah. my bow tie on. I got my little Ned the producer bell. Ned the producer bell. What are you producing for us? Today? I am going to do three things with our uh, maestro uh, yellow peppers from Winset Farms, or as we call them, uh, bell peppers. Um, not named after me, but we're going to do. <laughs> A savory or sweet cheesecake, hmm, which okay. is kind of fun, and then a pineapple and uh, yellow pepper relish, which is in this jar here, and then a awesome tropical caramel sauce. So wow. to get started, what we're going to do is we have in here some sugar. Now we're making a caramel sauce. Caramel sauce is basically raw sugar, a little bit of water. You cook it up, you let it boil, you let it boil, you let it boil. It then gets to be this color. Nice. So that's caramel sauce. So sugar really sweet. This, you know, burnt is burnt and then in the middle is caramel, that flavor, that rich sort of right. so luscious, burnt awesome is burnt. flavor. And when it goes, it's done. When it goes, it goes. So you've got to work super quickly. So uh, maybe nine minutes uh, oh, okay. with a little bit of water over high heat. When it gets to that point, we're going to let it uh, continue to um, cook up there. Okay. So what we're going to do, we have equal parts golden pineapple and uh, the yellow peppers. We're going to put that in a pot. This is super simple. Um, equal parts, equal parts. Then we have some pineapple juice. You could use apple juice, you could use pear juice, whatever, but pineapple juice makes sense. Uh, about two cups. So think like four cups pineapple, four cups, um, four cups yellow peppers. Oh, sorry. It's going to move that so My we can props. see what you're doing. Well, you're a star. You could always carry it around. Um, uh, four cups pineapple, four cups yellow pepper, and two cups pineapple juice, and then one cup honey. Okay. Uh, you need a little bit of sweetness. So put that in there. Cook that down for about 20 minutes, uh, and then you have this, which is this fantastic relish. We'll leave that off to the side. But Keep stirring it? or? Yeah, it'll, it, as the liquid comes up, it'll, uh, this is a vanilla bean, it'll um, start to stew and all the flavors will come together. See that gorgeous, like, almost orange, burnt orange uh, color? It just looks... And everything has reduced down while it's been right, right. sitting there. Okay. Uh, vanilla bean, cut it in half, split it, splice it, put it in the middle, let it cook down. Okay. Like so. Perfect. And you know that something like this would last you for a couple of weeks in the fridge, so it would be amazing. So over here for mm -hmm. the cheesecake, I'll get your to help me. Um, in here we have about uh, 16 ounces of cream cheese. We're then going to add uh, eight ounces of cork. This is from Golden Ears Cheese uh, in Maple Ridge, which is one of my favorite local cheeses. Cork is just sort of a. Did you see the look of confusion on my face? <laughs> exactly. I saw. That? I have yeah. no idea what that is. No, I don't. Um, so we're going to start mixing it together. Now we've got. You want the cream cheese to be soft. We're going to add in the cork. Cork, cork is, is more like a fresh, almost crumbled cream cheese. Uh, but it's. I don't you, have a license to operate this. You so don't need one, really. But um, and as that continues to mix together, once it's mixed together, we'll crack in two eggs. Thank you. That's excellent paddling. Thank you. Yeah, you've paddled. <laughs> I don't mind doing that when it's you've, not moving. You've paddled that before. And then we have uh, roasted yellow peppers. So 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Peel the skins, peel the seeds. Um, the, the, the peppers then chopped or whole. We add those right in. Oh, wow. And they will just mix. Now, again, like I said, it's a savory cheesecake. This will mm -hmm. break up as it continues. If you wanted a sweet cheesecake, you could add one cup of sugar. The recipes are on the Winset Farms. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, we're not That's where you might need a license. Exactly. You don't want to stick anything in the thing when it's moving okay. around. <laughs> so apparently, it's my first day <laughs> you with. You lose your food. hands there, people. Okay. Um, if you want it sweet, add some sugar. If you don't, keep it savory. Add a little bit of salt. Salt is a flavor enhancer. Add it at the beginning, throughout. It makes everything taste a little better. All right, we're gonna let that mix around. When it does mix around. Muffin tins, uh, loaf pan, basically whatever you want to use for your, uh, you know, cupcakes, as we were talking about earlier. Um, that oh, kind so of little individual cheesecakes. Right, little individual cheesecakes, and and um, they're spectacular. You can actually freeze them as well. So, wow. the reason why sweet or savory? This could be an appy, or it could be a dessert. Um, caramel sauce. Now, brown. Adding some cream. Adding some. Coconut milk, equal parts, cream and coconut milk. Be careful when you're mixing this together. We're going to come right down to the wire as we always do here mm -hmm. on Global about Morning. a minute left. Yeah, right. So then, cheesecakes out of the mold. Boom, magic oven. Pop them out. 
like so. Mm -hmm. um, onto our plate, plate, middle of our plate, like that. Nice. Actually, gonna add. Uh, you know what? We won't add one more. Where's our relish? Relish, like so. You know what? We are gonna add one more. We have the time. Like so, a little off center. I'd turn this off if I could, but I, I don't know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't have a license to do that. So. Gosh, you're an excellent sous chef. Mm -hmm, all right. um, doesn't that look amazing? That looks delicious. Like you could use this for cheese plates, you could use it for on a top of a piece of salmon. In fact, at, at uh, f um, Oh, it smells good. It does smell good, yeah. doesn't it? The relish right on top, maybe a little bit on the plate. Oh, I dropped my spoon. But I have another one. Look at that. Um, That's all the good chefs do. Right, you gotta just be like that. Really wow, you can really it. smell the coconut in that too. Doesn't that smell incredible? Delicious. And that is our roasted maestro pepper Bell Winsett Farms cheesecake. Oh, sure, I'll have a taste. Tropical caramel sauce and a relish of pineapple. Mmm. Oh, Jay, you're not gonna like this. No, at all. Jay, you won't like this. No, There's we'll room just keep it over here. For at least six more. Right, right. <laughs> I got lots, buddy. I got lots. Recipes on the website. These are incredible. These are amazing. Uh, thanks so much, Ned, Thank for being you. here. Thank you. Uh, recipes are available on our website, globaltvbc.com. Look for Saturday morning sh news. There you'll find a whole list of our Saturday chef's recipes. Ned, of course, uh, with Winsett Farms and you restaurant at right. Four Seasons. Four Seasons Hotel. In fact, my great team helped me with this this morning. Very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, all Jay. Right. None for you.